everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought what I would do today is share with you how to bind a mixed media junk journal. So the pages in this journal were made by doing some gel printing or some mixed media play on book pages and scraps of paper and whatnot, including some calco collage images. And so I've got it to the point that I'm ready to bind this journal. And what I do is I pretty much cut all my pages to the same size, or at least that all the pages, the biggest fills my page uh, requirements, if you will, and then anything I do is smaller. But in this case, I made them all the same size. This journal measures approximately eight inches tall by five and a quarter when closed. So the next thing that I do is I take a piece of cardstock and I measure it to be and cut it the same height as my journal. Then I'll take this piece and I will fold it in half what we call hot dog style. So think of a hot dog bun and that's how this would be folded lengthwise. I'll just crease that. So now I know that that's going to go in the center here. The next thing I'll do is I will fold it in half hamburger style from top to bottom. And that gives me the halfway or middle port point of where I'm going to sew my signatures. And I'll make a mark with a pen. And then I've got a ruler here, and I'll go about, oh, probably an inch and a quarter from the top. You want to leave a little bit of room in case you have smaller pieces of paper, and so this will catch it. So if you have little pieces of paper, you may need to come down a little bit further to make that mark. But in my case, I think one, one and an eighth maybe would be enough. And then what I'll do is I will take this piece and fold it in half. And then I will take my awl and I will use a piece of fun foam or an old um, foam book. Anything like that that you can poke into. You're not going to worry about hurting your surface. And I'm just going to poke right through that hole to the other side. And then I'll go ahead and mark it with my pen. And then I will mark the one in the center. So these are the three holes, the guides, if you will, that I'll use for doing a pamphlet stitch in my journal. Next what I'll do is I will lay this piece in the V of my journal, lining it up from the top and the bottom. And what I like to do is hold my book in a V if I'm not using a bookbinder's cradle or a foam book. You can do it without that. And the idea is, reason you want to do that is so that the hole will go straight through the fold in your pages and not offset. So I'm just going to use this as a guide. Oh wait, let me do one more thing I didn't do. In case I'm going to do a bunch of signatures that are the same size, I always write top so that whenever I'm punching holes in the next signature, they'll match. This is a one signature book, but it's always handy to have that on there to remind you what is the top of your book and what is the bottom. So now that I've got that V'd up, I'm going to use my craft pick by Tim Holtz, uh, Tonic Studios. Studios. I like the size of the shaft of this pick or all. And we're just going to push that down here. And it all is AWL. <laughs> I'll do the center. I like it because it's retractable and I don't have to worry about poking myself. We don't need the template anymore and we don't need the fun foam, so we'll get those out of the way. I use wax linen thread. So what I'm going to do is I want three times the height of my journal. So one, two, and three. And I will trim that. Then I have a book binder's needle. It's a strong needle. It's about four inches long and it's really heavy duty and has a larger eye but not a giant eye like a darning needle would have. And so I'm just going to loop my thread through just a little bit. And to do the pamphlet stitch I start in the inside center and pull it making sure to grab this tail so I don't pull it all the way through. And I'll go up to the top hole, bring my needle back to the inside, 
I found that if I pull this thread up, that I can then go right through the hole again there in the center, making sure to hang on to that tail. And then I'll go back through the bottom hole to the inside. Then I will slip my th needle under that first loop and then I pull these in opposite directions and check them to make sure that it's tight. I'll also check to make sure that it's tight on the outside. So pull these tight and then I will tie these in a knot. And it's called a square knot or some people call it a surgeon's knot. It's where you just take the two ends and tie them together twice. And then sometimes I'll leave the length. I'm gonna do that today and you can add little charms if you want or pieces of paper so let's take a look at this and I'll explain to you a little bit what we've got going on so the cover is a piece of cardstock that I just laid out pieces of scraps that I had left over from making the journal pages and then a couple things I just thought I liked the pretty colors and did them like a Franken page but used the mixed media pages for that and then I put a calico collage image on here and it's sewn down on top of another piece of paper. There are 10 pages in here, 10 pieces of paper, which make 40 pages. All right, so inside cover, I've got this little pocket that I made out of a book page that had been gel printed on. And then these are gel print backgrounds that I've added to the calico collage images. And the same over here. This page is actually a scanned copy of one of my mixed media pages. I wanted to see how it would look and I really like the way it looks. And then this is a pocket that I made by taking a book page and cutting it apart and then sewing it back together. And I have tutorials on how to make this pocket and this pocket. On the back side I stamped and I also used a Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist with one of my stencils. That's the Moroccan stencil and stamped again here. Here I made a journaling card and I was going to just have the cards loose and then I decided that they would be really pretty as focal points on the pages and I made a little journaling card to go behind it. And in my live YouTube video that I had on October the... What is today? I think it was the 13th, Monday, October the 13th. I showed how I made these. I made a few of them in the live video. And then more stamping. I even put a few little page tabs where I've added some fibers. And I just like the way that it just kind of adds a little whimsy to the pages. Again, some more stenciling. Another one of the gel print pages. Here is an altered paper clip. So this has the paper clip on the back side, and then here is a journaling card. Another little corner pocket here that I've added calico collage image, and here's another mixed media gel print page that I added the calico collage images to. I just love the color in all of these. It's a, a colorful journal journey journal to me. More stamping. This is actually from my mop up box when I spray Tattered Angels. Here's another one of those calico collage cards that I created. I had a boo-boo and this is how I fixed it. I took another piece of paper and I stamped on top of it and glued it down. So even if you make a mistake, you can fix it. Just glue another piece of paper over it or paint over it depending on where it is. The center and there's a pocket here as well as here. And I just love this color and I thought it would be just a pretty just to have that pop of teal on here. Another drawing card there. More stamping and tattered angels. This is a little tuck spot there. This isn't a tuck spot but I just thought it was kind of pretty to stick down. There's another little embellishment that I made with the calco collage images. I used the domino images. I used some artist trading card size images and I just reduced them before I printed them so I could get different sizes. I like the way that stamping looks. Here I just added one of those tear off pages to the front of that. And then here is another pocket here, and here, and here. 
So that is a mixed media journal. In my opinion, I thought it would be kind of fun to share and it would be fun to write in this journal. I didn't put a tie on it, but it could easily have a ribbon wrapped around it to tie it shut. But I also like the way it looks when you stand it up so you get that really full look on it as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you are inspired to create. And if you enjoy seeing the things that I create, I'd love for you to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, make sure you hit that notification button. Check out the description box for links to my store where I'll have this journal for sale along with lots of other things. And I would greatly appreciate your support. I'm trying to do some changes to my website so that I can offer more things there, but I'm finding that I have to pay for certain tools for it to work and so I need some money and so I'm begging you if you are buying Christmas gifts that you'll go check out my shop that if you're looking for something special that you can't find message me maybe I have it already I just haven't put it in my shop or I can make it for you I'd love to help you out and in turn you would help me out financially and I would greatly appreciate that well thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing this and I hope to see you around the net Thanks for watching. Bye.